Hi there, I'm Robin Bresnahan, host of CBC Radio's Ottawa Morning. The letter I'm going to read to you was written by Mona Parsons. She's a Canadian from Nova Scotia who was living in the Netherlands when it was occupied by Nazi Germany in 1940. She joined the Dutch resistance and helped downed Allied airmen to escape back to Britain. She was captured by the Gestapo and spent four years in prison camps before escaping as Canadian troops liberated the Netherlands in the spring of 1945. She wrote this letter to her father shortly after reaching freedom. May 3rd, 1945. Prison was a hard, nasty, cold, hungry, and demoralizing life. We were always associating with criminals. That never should have been. Political prisoners should have been kept apart. The first year, I was ill a lot. I weighed only 94 pounds and was green. Night sweats, coughing, and diarrhea every day for three and a half months, and often vomiting. Tears have run down my cheeks for hunger. When the diarrhea got better, I was given a pint of soup extra, made from turnip and potato peelings. There were no medicines to be had. We slept four in a tiny cell built for one. In all the years of imprisonment, I always slept on a straw sack on the floor. I was in solitary once for two weeks for writing a letter in English. Practically four years of isolation. During my first contact with people, after throwing off my half-witted act, I felt only half conscious of all that went on about me. My body was shaky. My brain seemed quite numb thoroughly incapable of absorbing what was said to me. My head spun. It just seemed too much all of a sudden. We'd had literally no brain stimulation all these years. But now, all of that is finished. Now there's so much to do, to read, to hear, to learn. One wishes every day were 48 hours. I'm feverishly trying to catch up on the overwhelmingly great number of events of these last, to me, quite wasted years. My brain is a veritable whirligig. For the last three days, I have felt quite rested and normal. The reaction to all I'd been through had given me the jitters, and my renewed contact with civilization had disarmed me in a way I had never believed possible. I've got to get used to life again and normal people. It's all very strange. May 5th, 1945. Holland has capitulated. Thrills and heartthrobs. I can scarcely believe it. Today, I'm going to try to arrange transport back home. What heaven to be there again. How sweepingly and rapidly everything has gone this week. The joy is almost too much to bear.